In this video, I will show you the mini movie template for Scrivener. Hi everybody, it's Bela from the Rides Territory, and in this video, we're gonna have a look at the mini movie screenplay template for Scrivener. In case you wanna follow along or you wanna use it, uh, you can download it from my website. The link is down below in the description. And once you have it, it will be a zipped file. So you have to unpack it first. For this, double click on it and it will unpack as a Scrivener template file. And then when you open Scrivener and you get the template selection, you go to Options, Import Templates, choose the file you just unpacked, click Import, and then you will find it in the screenwriting section. And it has this little film strip icon here. It's called Screenplay Mini Movie Method. Just select it, create a new project, give it a name if you want. And here we go. The first page that opens up is this how to use this template um, manual, so to speak. You can read through it if you like, but basically we're going to cover everything in the video uh, that is also in this manual. So the template is based on the screenplay format by Scrivener. So it has everything the screenplay format also has with some additions. If you take a look at the binder, you see some mini movie documents. They are indicated by this way icon flag here and you see them in different colors. The first two are in orange, then mini movie 3 through 6 is in red and uh, 7 and 8 is in green. And that is because they are separated into acts. Mini movie 1 and 2 uh, is the first act, mini movie 3 to 6 is the second act and mini movie 7 and 8 is the third act. Now I'm assuming that you know a little bit about uh, the mini movie structure. If you don't or if you're interested in knowing about more, um, go to uh, this link. This is a book from Chris Soth. He invented the mini movie method and in his book Million Dollar Screenwriting, the mini movie method, he explains how it works. Basically, it's dividing the whole movie, the whole structure into eight steps so you don't have just maybe three like three big acts and you have really hard way going through the second act because it's such a long way so every act is divided into several parts so if you think about a script having about 120 pages 120 minutes so every mini movie would be about 15 minutes so you have only a small way to go until the next story point and this can make uh, your structure very um, much more interesting. Underneath each mo mini movie document you have a script document and in this script document this is um, formatted with Scrivener standard screenplay format. Here you can write your script and the mini movie document itself, itself is meant for notes and as a place to store everything that is important about that certain story step, that certain mini movie. Also, in the notes section, you see a little description about what this mini movie is about. If you know about the mini movie method, this will most likely be enough for you to remind you what this step is doing. Then you have several title pages because you can output several types of documents from this template. Um, they are pre designed um, in the compiler. This is screenplay, outline treatment, and synopsis. Um, other than that, you also have what is included normally in the Scrivener screenplay template, as I already mentioned. And also in the template folder, you have a template for the mini movie document and also for the script document. You could also make them yourself. It's just that in the template sheets, they have already assigned the um, compile flag. So it will work well with the compiler. Okay, let's take a look at what kinds of documents you can export with this template. Um, for this, I'm going to switch over to my demo project with already pre-filled text. Okay, this is my demo project. And if I click on the draft folder, you see that the mini movie files have a lorem ipsum sample text and the screenplay files have just some sample screenplay lines and the synopsis has a synopsis sample text. And now let's have a look at what we can output. For this, go to file compile and on the left side under project formats you have three formats you have outline treatment screenplay and synopsis the other formats are not important my formats are my personal formats and scrivener formats this is all that's included with scrivener so let's have a look at outline treatment first just open the compiler 
choose the output format you want and the project compile format you want and hit compile. This is outline. And you can see it says untitled because the pro that, that is the project name, outline treatment, by, and it will put your name here once you put the name, your name in the project. Now this is empty because I didn't want to put my own name into the project. And also here it automatically fills out the date and it says first draft. Of course, you can change all that in the front matter folder by choosing the correct title page. Now it puts every mini movie, as you can see, on a separate page. In case you don't want that, you go to the compiler again and you choose, make sure you select the right format and you choose assign section layouts. And if you select mini movie, you can see that new page heading and text is selected as format for this section. If you want um, to avoid the page jumps, just choose this one, text selection, a uh, text section with heading. Okay, compile again. And you see it has a slightly different formatting and all the mini movies will just follow each other without a page break before each one. Next document is the screenplay itself. Just choose screenplay and hit compile. And now it puts the screenplay title page up top. Again, this is the project name and here would be your name. And here you can put whatever you want. And now you see that it strings together all the screenplay documents. So you can basically write each of the mini movies in their own document. And then when you output it, when you compile it, it will create one big script file out of it. The third document that you can compile is a synopsis. Let's have a look at that. Choose synopsis, hit compile. And the synopsis, again, you get a different title page. And the synopsis by default compiles the title of the mini movie document and the synopsis of the mini movie document. So you can get a broad overview of your story and you have a different place to put some very simple broad strokes notes apart from what you have in the editor. Also a word about the compiler. If you take a look at the compiler, you see that all documents are selected for compile, but don't let that worry you because inside of each of those output formats, Scrivener will exclude the um, documents you don't need in this compile. So just choose the format, hit compile if you know what you're doing or you are just curious and want to see what the formats do just double click on them and you will see all the settings and you can change all the settings just make sure if you want to change something before you edit it go to duplicate and edit format so this way you can retain all the settings you have uh, in this template or just load up the template again okay that's it i hope um this serves you well. If you want to work with the mini movie method, go ahead and try it out. I hope you have fun with it. I hope you hope you have success with it and I wish you happy writing.